All right, so in this video, we're going to look at uh, writing a quadratic function in standard form. Um, some you, you may hear it called vertex form, standard form, but it's this form that we're going to write it in. And what it is is the uh, the function that we're going to have is going to be in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. I've got three different examples that I'm going to do, so, uh, and I'm going to do one example per video. And just to show you the problems that I'll be working, here's the three I'll be working. This will be, of course, this video. This will be example one. This will be in the second video, example two. And this one will be the third example uh, in the third video. All right, so you can go to whichever video you need. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, it's going to be in this form, and we're going to convert it to this standard form. All right, so let's look at example one. All right, so we have f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x minus 10. All right, so what we want to do is we want to take f of x equals x squared minus 6x, and we want to separate this from the constant term and we want to leave a little space here minus 10 okay so what we're going to do is complete the square on it so we take the number in front of x the 6 and we half it so when we half the 6 we get 3 and then you square it and that's going to give us 9 so that means we add 9 and since we added 9 here, we have to subtract 9 here. Okay. So basically what we did is if you look at these two numbers here, 9 minus 9, basically what we did is we added 0. Okay. So by adding 0, we don't change the problem up. Okay. All right. So now we have f of x is equal to now this thing is going to factor okay this is this is what we call a perfect square trinomial so we know it's going to factor into this okay it's remember it's in one of these forms here a x squared i'm sorry it's in this form x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. That's the form this is in. And it factors into this. If you go back and remember your factoring. okay. So the way that you get this, it's just the square root of this term goes here. okay. The square root of this term goes here. And then whatever sign this is goes here. Okay? So We've got the square root of x squared is x, this sign, and the square root of this last term, 3, minus 19. And there's your answer. Okay, So I hope this helped. Uh, check out the other two examples. They'll be like this, but they'll be different. Okay, I, I'm trying, I'm going to hit, each one of the examples will hit everything that you'll come across. All right, so... Give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.